The battle for the gavel could be coming to a close today. At noon, the House is set to vote on whether Jim Jordan of Ohio will lead the lower chamber of Congress. And as Deputy Political Director Joe St. George reports, Jordan has been able to win the support of some initial holdouts. Can Jim Jordan, the Republican congressman from Ohio, become Speaker of the House for the first time since January? The House of Representatives will actually vote on the floor of the House to select a new Speaker. Whether they actually do is very much to be determined. As a reminder, under normal circumstances, you need 218 votes to become Speaker. But that is when there are no vacancies. Right now, there are two, so technically 217 is needed. That number could go even lower, though, if there are some absences, illnesses, or some members vote present. Jordan began the day Tuesday, still lacking the necessary votes, but he is much closer to the gavel than he was last week. A number of Republicans who said they would never vote for him changed their mind and endorsed him on Monday. So a bit of momentum is on his side. Jordan has represented Ohio since 2007. He has been endorsed by former President Donald Trump and Fox News Channel Sean Hannity. He's known for taking on the establishment during his career, whether it was moderate Republicans like former Speaker of the House John Boehner, Democrats, or Dr. Anthony Fauci during the height of COVID. He has faced some scandal over the years because he was an assistant coach on the Ohio State University wrestling program team during a period of abuse scandal. Jordan has repeatedly denied any involvement or knowledge. If Jim Jordan can't become Speaker of the House today, look for these names to emerge as possible candidates, including former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy and current Speaker Pro Tim Patrick McHenry. But it would very much be back to the drawing board. Remember, the House of Representatives remains paralyzed without a Speaker of the House. No aid to Israel, no resolution supporting Israel can be passed. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington.